Oh, <laughs> bring him around. Got him, yeah. Oh, I can't even see him back there. It's gotta be. Oh yeah, it's huge. It's way too big to be a dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Good job, man. Andy. <laughs> hey, keep it tight. Reel down. Reel down to it. Lift up as I lift up. One, two, three. Yep. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, hey. Wow. Oh, nice. oh. Yes. I love you, man. Good. <laughs> That's awesome, buddy. Whoop, whoop, you all right? That was a super fun fishing trip, and I was lucky enough to catch that beautiful Chinook, which I've got a nice big chunk of here. Now, with fish of this quality, I really want to do very little in terms of seasoning because I want the flavor of this to stand on its own. So, I'm going to do a really simple pan-seared salmon, and I'll top that with a little bit of compound butter, and that should be absolutely wonderful. The first thing I'm going to do is to make the compound butter, which is just a fancy way of saying butter with stuff smashed into it. And this one is a roasted garlic and lemon zest butter that should match really well with that fresh salmon. The first thing I need to do is to roast a head of garlic, and it couldn't be easier. Just take the garlic, slice off the top, just a little bit off the top to open it up. Then, get some foil. Drop her in there, put in just a little drizz of olive oil. Now I'm going to wrap that all up real tight. And this little package goes into the oven at 400 degrees for about 40 minutes or until this becomes nice and squishy. It's pretty inefficient to fire up the oven just for this one little packet. So if you want, you can do five or six of these at once and put them in the fridge and use them for probably at least a week. They're good in all kinds of recipes and dressings. It's just a really good ingredient to have on hand. Okay, here's my roasted garlic. Nice and soft now. Oh, it's got a nice caramelized look to it. Oh yeah, seems perfect. Now I've got a stick of kind of semi-soft butter here, and apart from the roasted garlic, I'm going to add lemon zest and parsley to this compound butter. So, take my garlic, and it should just squeeze right out of here now. Oh, it's so beautiful. Drop that right into the butter. Yeah, every last bit of that, it's so good. Just spread that stuff on toast. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to get the zest of this lemon. I'm just going to use this zester and make it into little, little shreds. Well, I'll just get in the yellow part here and leaving all that white pith behind because it's kind of bitter. All your aromatics are in the very top yellow layer there. Very good. Now, I'm going to put the chop on this parsley. And I'll probably use a tablespoon, maybe a little more than a tablespoon of that chopped parsley. And now this is unsalted butter, so I'll add about a half a teaspoon of salt to there to start and then we're just going to use a fork and mash this all together give that a little taste wow ah, just right uh, roasting that garlic just takes the edge off and makes it nice and mellow and sweet but still got tons of garlic flavor okay and now finally, we'll take this all out, scoop it onto a piece of plastic wrap, and then we want to kind of roll this, fold that over, and kind of squeeze it down into a tube, if you will, a little cylinder there. Hey, 
you can stretch that out as far as you like. Then, I'm just going to kind of twist this up into a little sausage shape. Now, all we've got to do is put this into the refrigerator until it gets nice and solid again and it's ready to go. Ah, really good. Everything's nicely distributed in there. And that should be great when it melts on top of that salmon. Now my butter's ready, so let's sear the salmon. And this is going to be really quick. I'm just going to season this with salt and pepper. Because salmon is what I really want to taste here. It's a pretty thick piece, so I can go kind of generous with the salt. That's it. So, got some olive oil. This is regular, not extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna bring this up to sort of a medium high heat because I wanna cook this pretty hot and get a nice sear on that salmon without overcooking it. Okay, my oil is nice and hot now. And right before I put that salmon in, I'm gonna drop a pat of butter in there. That's gonna help it get some nice color on it, but I wanna get the salmon on there pretty quick so that that butter doesn't burn. I'll just put it right on top of that butter there. Move that around just for a little bit to make sure I got oil all over under there. And then I'm gonna let that sit. This is a, a little over an inch thick, so it's probably gonna take around four minutes on a side. Okay, that's four minutes on side number one. Now I'll flip it. I'm looking for a real nice crusty caramelized finish. Ooh wee! Looks pretty good. Get that down. Make sure we get oil underneath it again. I don't want to kind of crisp up that skin. I'm going to add another little bit of butter under there. And then as this cooks, I will occasionally baste that with a little of that hot butter down there. All right, there's four minutes aside. I'm just gonna pop that over one more time. Take a look, make sure that's nice and crisp. It is. And I'm just gonna let that sit there for about 30 seconds just to put a little more heat into the surface of that to melt my butter. That should do. Now, take it out. Beautiful, and now while it's still hot, I'm gonna grab a piece of that compound butter and put it right up on there. Nice big medallion of that compound butter. And this is gonna rest, and we'll just let that melt right over the top of that salmon. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Now let's see how we did. Oh yeah, that butter melted really nice on there. I got that zested lemon, so let's not let that go to waste. And we'll just give that a little drizz of lemon juice. Ooh, and now we'll get in there. Oh man, that looks delightful. <laughs> oh! Oh, my goodness, that is one of the best pieces of fish I've ever eaten, and maybe one of the best pieces of fish I'm ever going to get to eat. It's just so fresh, and a light brininess from being in that salt water, the garlic and butter and lemon zest just work perfectly with it without overpowering the flavor of that salmon. The flavor of that thing on its own is just outstanding. It's perfectly tender. I want to get a little bit of that crispy skin. Don't sleep on the skin, people. It's uh, actually quite delicious. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Nice crispy salmon skin. <laughs> it's very, very good. I know that I am very privileged to get to go out and catch these things and bring them home and cook them on my own. And hopefully you get that same opportunity too. And if you do, I hope you try this and I know you're going to love it. Thanks for watching. Mmm! -hmm.